Welcome to Golden Mastermind Seminars Radio with your host, Jeffrey Combs. Good afternoon, Jeffrey Combs, President and Founder of Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated, Powder Blue and Gold, two of my favorite colors. Good to be here with you today on a gloomy November afternoon as we have crossed the halfway point of November. We are down under 45 days left in the calendar year 2024. So good to be here with you in an economy that is now flourishing. And it's so good to be able to say that for those of you who are business owners, we're watching the stock market, gas prices are moving, there's a, there's a possibility of interest dropping. So there's a lot happening in America today if you're an entrepreneur. So you want to be able to really next level your enterprise and your business. And if you're here, thank you very much for joining me, Jared Andre, David Hammer, and Brian Law. So today is always a breathe, release, and let go day. And the topic for my content today is breathing, releasing, letting go is always my topic. But along with that, it is producing in a relaxed body. If you own a business and you are responsible for your income, and you're a 1099 producer in an insurance company, a network marketing company, you're a real estate agent, a real estate professional, or like me, you're a coach, an influencer, an affluencer. Well, I set up my desk right here in my office. So if you look behind me, that's one of my bookshelves. And then there's bookshelves over there. This is a little view of my room. By the way, that painting you saw, that is by Kira Fairchild, one of my clients, a world-renowned Western artist who does six-figure paintings, and she is an amazing woman, Kira Fercho. She's also a top-tier entrepreneur and real estate investor. And Josh Waxman, thank you from the center of my heart for bringing your team to my Facebook Live. And Alexis, I see you, my sister, so I'm looking forward to being your coach one day. So good to have all of you here. Wojo, good to be here with you. So today's topic is, is being and staying in a relaxed body. A relaxed body means you're flexible. You're fluid. You're not in fight or flight. You're not projecting your anxiety about the outcome hasn't happened. And your focus is on the solution and on results. So if you're smiling and dialing, you're calling leads and prospects, or you're reaching out to people and you're offering service and value, you want to be in the present of that conversation, not thinking and analyzing and being in the future of what's not has, what has not happened. You want to be right there in the middle of, of the conversation. So if you're right-handed, this is your left ear. So auditory skills are your ability to hear. And so your auditory skills, like myself, I'm a top-tier listener. I'm a top-tier sales professional, and I practice it every single day through repetition and experience. And so when I'm listening to someone, I'm listening to where that person is. I'm listening to what their challenges are. What is their problem and what is the solution I can provide that will assist them to want to purchase from me? So this is the skill set that you require to understand. And this requires being in a relaxed body. But if you bring your trauma, your drama from your past and your present, if your ego is bigger than your bank account, and if you're worried about the money, and you're destitute or you're financially challenged or you have broke thoughts, poverty consciousness, or you're worried about your rent, you are not going to, to succeed because you're not in the conversation. So your ego is about you, it's not about them. When you're prospecting a lead, you're, you're, it's not about you, it's about them and your responsibility is to find out, are you a qualified buyer? That's what you have to find out. And that's why you fact find, rapport build, and small talk with the prospect, and you do it concurrently over a short period of time. This should take you one, two, three minutes, possibly five, but you're not there to chew the fat or talk about the box scores or talk about the Oscars and Grammys and all of those situations. You're there to find out if there's a value proposition that you can deliver to this person so that they will want to be your customer. They will want to be your client. They will want to join your team. And it's through an ease and an effortless effort that that happens in a relaxed body. 
Everyone say hello to my good friend and client, Craig Davenport. Craig is joining me from Sydney, Australia. So he has officially created an international call here. I've been Craig's coach for four years. So Craig, good to see you, my brother. And then another international rock star client, Beth Blackmore, is joining me this afternoon. Beth is a warrior mom, patriot from Canada, and a woman of high, high consciousness. Beth, my sister, I feel you. The topic today is producing in a relaxed body. Now, once again, if you're in poverty consciousness, lack and scarcity, you're projecting this into the universe. So I'll go. I'll tell you this with slow what it means. Emotions have a corresponding future. It means what your emotional state is being transmuted through the universe, and it, your your transmutation transmutational energy is a byproduct of two situations your anxiety, fear, and doubt, or your consciousness. As you begin to choose to live in higher consciousness, that energy that you're transmuting and transmoting will be felt by a small percent of the population who will be much more receptive to your message. This is the science of attraction. You will attract your reality, people, and situations to fulfill your feelings. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling anxious, then you're projecting that. And as you let go and you learn to be present, you're here and you're now. You're letting go of your anxiety, fear, and doubt about the future, and you're letting go of your regret of the past so that you can be and stay in a relaxed body. For those of you who've ever been an athlete, and if you're a woman and played softball or volleyball or any gymnastics, or if you're a man and you've played golf, football, basketball, baseball, I was a four-sport athlete, so I played basketball, football, track, and baseball. For four years, varsity, I was a 16-sport letterman and lettered twice in junior college basketball in the Iowa, Nebraska, Missouri Juco League, a very tough league back in the day, back in the day when tomahawk duck dunking was happening. So, And if you're an athlete, then you understand what it means to be in the batter's box or what it means to be in tennis or any level of athleticism, it requires a relaxed concentration. If you have performance anxiety, then in sports that's called choking. That means you're you're going to choke. And you're like if you're a quarterback and you throw an interception and it goes for a touchdown, that's called a pick six. That's a 14 point swing. You were going to score seven and said they scored seven. That's 14 points, and that's on you, chief, because you just choked. And that's what many people do when it comes to free enterprise business. You've been conditioned and specifically groomed by an agenda that wants to keep you broken, broken, medicated, hesitated, levitated, and pontificating so that you can tiptoe quietly through life and die dead broke. And you will live, if you don't, if you don't address this and you continue to live in this debt system where you're paying interest on money that doesn't exist and you do not understand fractional banking, and you do, which Josh Waxman does, and you do not understand the Federal Reserve and how the Federal Reserve prints Federal Reserve notes, and that's what they are on a nine to one basis. And so once you begin to understand that every dollar that you have, they make nine out of it. And, that, and so the Fed turns up the engine. And so that's what you're gonna see right now. You're gonna see a lot of money in circulation, and it's gonna be your, it's gonna be your responsibility as an entrepreneur to be able to collect your fair share. Interest rates will drop, gas prices will drop, Florida real estate is now moving, and Bitcoin is off the charts. If you're selling insurance, real estate, coaching, if you're an influencer, an affluencer, network marketing, you're a direct salesperson, there has never been a better time in the last 20 years than RFN right now to be a business owner. But that is gonna require your skill set. And first situation, you have to get your ego out of the way. When your ego is bigger than your bank account, then you will have challenges selling. If your ego is about recognition, you will have challenges being a closer. If your ego is in scarcity, poverty, lack, you're going to be you're not going to be in a flexible body. The, my topic for today is to learn to be and stay in a flexible body. It's going to require emotional sobriety, and I suggest you let go of marijuana, vaping, alcohol, 
pornography, and all the other distractions that will take you out of your flow, which creates brain fog on top of your brain fog. Pharmaceutical medication, 90% of the food that you're going to consume, and all the even, even much of the over-the-counter holistic medicines aren't that holistic. And even healthy food, organic food, most of it isn't organic, especially with the fruit fly situation that is GMOs, trans fats, and all the other situations. This is why cold baths, cold showers, detoxing, meditating, praying, and letting go are essential to being in a relaxed body. And letting go of your ego, which is the lower self that will continue to recreate a situation to fulfill your feelings. As you're able to learn to observe and separate, this is what letting go is. And it's a concurrent, so it happens like this. You feel your anger and it rises up. Someone doesn't buy from you and you feel rejected or you feel abandoned. Or your mentor is actually giving you wisdom and input and your ego turns it into I'm being criticized. When your mentor is giving you the goods, chief, he's telling you what it, what it really requires to be a business owner, but your ego wants to be in conflict. And so your ego wants to sabotage this relationship by being right and interrupting an expert. Rule number one, when a millionaire gives you input, SFU and listen. I'm sure you can figure out what SFU means. So listen to what that person is telling you. Even if you disagree, zip it up, zip that lip, listen. And if you disagree, let it go because it isn't worth the pleasure won't be worth the pain. So when someone of influence or affluence is giving you insight, not criticism, and there's no such thing as constructive criticism. That is a contradiction. So if someone is criticizing you, they are criticizing you. It's not constructive. If someone is giving you insight and wisdom, that's your responsibility to separate the difference between the two so you can be in receive mode. For you to be an exceptional listener, you it's important that you are in a relaxed body. You can't listen and hear what's being said and meant when you're astral projecting which what you want to say and you're in the other part of the conversation. I have watched many people who will ask me a question before I'm even finished will interrupt me and then I will interrupt them and tell them to SFU, STFU, what, and you understand what it means, but let me finish my sentence. So it's your responsibility to understand what goes on in the middle of a conversation. And that comes from being in a relaxed body. So there are terms that are metaphors for relaxed body. That is as cool as the other side of a pillow, another sports term, as cool as the other side of the pillow. That was Stuart Scott, old school ESPN back in the 90s. Ice in your veins. I mean, that's another one situation. In the flow, in the zone, in the hands-free zone, unconscious. These are sports terms that I grew up with, living and learning, playing top-tier athletic sports as it, in through, through my senior year and into two years of college. I was also a top-tier racquetball player. If you're an athlete, it can be an advantage if you know how to put it into application. You do not have to be an athlete to be a millionaire business owner, but you do have to have the mindset of a business owner who can stand the gaff, stay in the game long enough to master the skills, and you also have to do this. You have to silence your inner critic, that little whiny voice that wants to talk about its money. And a, a chronic complainer will find ways to chronically complain. And every time you're complaining, your body goes rigid. Every time you're every time you're in worry, your body goes rigid. Every time you go into fight or flight, your body is rigid, and then you're not flexible. And so what that means is you're reverting back into a child through the trauma you're experiencing as a child. It's called fight or flight. And then the body is releasing a neuro, the set of neurochemicals. So the neurons that wire and fire together that form the feelings will recreate the same situation so you can feel the same trauma bond, panic pattern, and brain fog that you've lived in for so many years. When you are, when you are committed and you are no longer the mind-body connection of the events that shape the feelings, your body releases. You can, you can have much improvement by chiropractic adjustments, meditation, deep breathing exercises, muscle testing, and other healing modalities that will allow you to let go of the anxiety you hold on to. So anxiety is a byproduct of trauma that you've experienced that you haven't mastered the skills and or the emotions 
to practice the skill of letting go. Ashley, so good to see you here. So it's an honor to be here with you this afternoon. And so the topic in April Long, good to see you. So the topic for today's call is being and staying in a relaxed body. That means you have ice in your veins, you're as cool as the other side of the pillow, you walk with grace through this universe, you're one with God, you're casting the burden of the Christ within, you're letting go on a daily, minutely, hourly basis. Letting go is a skill that is never completely learned. It's like Tai Chi. You learn the movements of the exercise. And that's what you do with letting go. If you're a master at letting go, you will be mastering it the rest of your life. And that means you become a skilled observer while letting go rather than a non-skilled participant. If you don't master the skills of letting go, fight or flight will happen. You'll be in your emotional state. You'll be over the edge frequently. The, the skill that you want to be in is teach yourself how to be in a gamma brainwave state. In a gamma state of brainwave, you're in a very flexible body, and the body is producing a neurochemical called dimethyltryptamine, DMT. If you've ever seen Dr. Joe Dispenza, which I've shared the stage with him four times, going back to 2007, 8, 2016, and 2017, he covers that what DMT is. DMT is also harvested by the agenda, and that is a whole nother story. And that would be a whole nother private call that I would have with you at some point in my rabbit hole. So for those of you who are following me, you feel me? So those of you who are following me, what you're looking to accrue is a gamma brainwave state where the vagus nerve connects to the neocortex of, of the, your head, going down your back, wrapping up around your hip, coming up into your gut, hence the term gut feeling. And in that state of that state of emotion, you are in high vibration, you're in high consciousness. So you're in joy, bliss, understanding, knowing. This is all flexible body. So you're in joy, bliss, you're understanding, you're aware, you know, you're not in any doubt. You're in the present, you're here, you're now, you're in higher consciousness, you're channeling God, you're casting burdens of the Christ within, you don't hold on to situations, and most importantly, you are non-attached. These are two, this word is a very confusing word to the codependent addict, to the people who live in fight or flight, to the people who live in anxiety, fear, and doubt. Non-attachment means you have very clear boundaries and you're not attached to the outcome. You're not, so if you're a sales professional, it's imperative that you understand non-attachment and you have a very short memory. And in non-attachment, as you listen with your non-dominant ear right here, you will hear how many people pathologically lie to you and themselves, and you can let them go easily and effortlessly. They're the be back people. They're going to get back to you. They're going to be back. They're going to think about it. They're going to sleep on it. They're going to call you tomorrow. They're going to talk to the dog catcher, the fireman, the blow up doll in the closet, someone down the street as broke as they are, and they expect you to believe that they're really going to get back to you. Those are called be backs, and that's a sales term that I learned as a teenager way back in the day in 1976 when I was selling books for Time Life Books in a boiler room. And that's where I learned some of my best sales skills with a prehistoric headset attached to a old school rotary landline back in the day in 1976 down on 6th and Washington when I was a freshman in college. And yes, the discovery of the presence of God, Josh has pointed this out. There's a book by David Hawkins called The Discovery of the Presence of God that explains the content that I am sharing with you today on how to be and stay in a relaxed body. So another word for that would be chill. You're chilling, dude. How are you? It's chill, man. It's chill. So that chill factor is gamma brainwave state. And that chill factor is DMT, dimethyltryptamine. Practice saying it, dimethyltryptamine. And that means you're as cool as the other side of the pillow. You are glass, baby. You are ice. You are the ice man. You are the ice woman. Let's bring in Waxman to ice the game because I, Waxman is the closer. So that, that's what it means. When you bring Waxman in, it's lights out, baby, because Waxman is the finisher. And that's what you want to be. You want to be the closer, not the poser. You want to be the finisher, 
not the procrastinator. Your objective is to be compensated in free enterprise for what the free maker, what the free market will bear, not trading time for dollars in someone else's dream, a place called a job. So if you are an entrepreneur today, do your best to be and stay in a relaxed body. See if you can go the entire day without criticizing yourself one time. See if you can go the rest of the day without losing it. See if you can go the rest of the day without being in anxiety. See if you can go the rest of the day with by monitor. See if you can go the rest of the day without saying these words, kinda, guess, and then this combination of words that's spelled I-D-U-N-N-O, pronounced by Americans. I don't know. And Americans turn into one word, but it's three words. I don't know. Kinda, guess, I don't know. Americans say that in their sentence structure to telegraph their doubt, which then takes their vibrational energy below 200 cycles a second in anxiety, fear, and doubt, transmuting from, from anger, hate, resentment, rage, ang- abandonment, rejection, overwhelmed feelings, grief, apathy, and pride. That's the emotional state that comprises the neurological network of neurons that wire and fire that form the feelings specifically of doubt, what keeps people procrastinating, avoiding, being their best self. If you're on today's call and you have not accessed a free 20-minute coaching call from me and you want to learn my ice skills, how to ice, if you want to learn how to be at DMT, dimethyltryptamine, if you are seeking how to produce in a relaxed body, reach out to me for a free 20-minute coaching session. You can message me on Facebook Messenger or go directly to my website and it says request 20-minute call. It's a very short survey. Fill it out and I'll return your request immediately. Josh, once again, thank you for bringing your team to my call. Jerome, good to see you. Christina, longtime follower. Tina, good to see you. Good to see all of you here today. If you're first-time watchers, hit the hit. The, the friend request. There's a big difference between a friend request and following. Send me a friend request, and if you like the content today, like it. It'll put you in my feed where you will receive my, my notifications when I am online. Breathe, release, and let go. Have a great day, everyone.